Is it time to film weddings with a Super 8 camera? Hey, my name is Matt Johnson, and this is my Canon 514XL Super 8 film camera that I recently purchased and filmed a wedding with. Today, I want to tell you about my experience filming in Super 8 and give you two reasons why you should consider getting a camera like this and using it in your wedding filmmaking, and also one other reason that I would not get a Super 8 camera. Two pros, one con, here we go. So how did I get into Super 8? Well, I've always been intrigued by the thought of shooting in film. Up until this point, the closest that I ever came to film was recording home videos with my parents' camcorder that recorded to VHS tape, so this is definitely a little older. And just like how Instagram sparked a revolution in people putting vintage filters into all their photos in an attempt to add more character and style to them, I've seen this happen in the video world as well, with companies selling light leaks and film grain overlays and all these effects and plugins that imitate film. But whenever you watch a video that has one of these Super 8 film grain overlays or light leaks, 99% of the time you can tell it was added in post right? The aspect ratio will be off, or the colors won't look right, or the biggest giveaway is the depth of field will be way too shallow and clearly recorded on a full-frame digital camera. Overall, there's a lack of authenticity when it comes to all these film overlays, and not to go all Christopher Nolan here, but I personally think that there's a very real, almost magic that occurs whenever you watch something that was truly recorded on film and not recorded digitally in a way to simulate film. And if you let me go even more philosophical here for a second, I think this authenticity from shooting on film applies itself incredibly well to showing the powerful emotions that you will see on a wedding day. Laughter, romance, love, all feels heightened when captured in this medium. And while I'm not saying that shooting on film is going to magically make a shy and reserved couple be exuberant and outgoing, I do think that there's an argument to be made that having something like this in your tool belt can help you break through emotional barriers and really show who a couple truly is. We're getting too deep, though, and arguably I'm just a helpless romantic that has filmed way too many weddings at this point. Anyways, if any of this has intrigued you at all, that's the first reason that I recommend buying a Super 8 camera. Because, yes, while wedding filmmaking is a business, and I'm sure we all want to make money, wedding filmmaking is also an art. And... I believe that using a Super 8 camera is a great way to explore the artistic side of wedding filmmaking. Now, that said, here's the second reason that I recommend buying a Super 8 camera. And if the first reason is purely on the artistic side, the second reason is completely in the other direction on the business side. Because I believe that if you start offering Super 8 videos in your wedding filmmaking business, this has the potential to be another great way of increasing the revenue you're making from filming weddings. Think about it this way. I would bet that of the couples that ever ask you to film their wedding, 99.9% .9 of them will have never experienced anything more than a cheap camera filter on Instagram or TikTok that mimics Super 8. So if you have the opportunity to offer them something shot on real film, something authentic, and it also happens to be a video featuring them, that is incredibly powerful and it has the potential to be worth a big investment from a couple. You could easily start charging $500 to $1,000 or more as an add-on to your regular wedding filmmaking packages, and I'm betting the couples would easily pay it. This is one of those no-brainer add-ons, too, where you can easily integrate it into the wedding films that you're offering, and it's not going to take a ton of investment from you to get started. Heck, if one couple books this, you've already recouped basically all of the costs that you put into buying the camera and film, etc. And every other booking after that is going to be mostly profit. And it's not like you're having to do much different on the wedding day either. You just carry this extra camera around in your bag and take it out at various moments to get some cool shots. Are you convinced yet? Okay, there is one reason that I would not recommend getting into Super 8, so let's cover that really quick. I would avoid getting into Super 8 if you are either just getting started in wedding filmmaking or if you've only been filming weddings for a short time. 
If you're just getting started, you probably have more important equipment to invest in than a Super 8 camera. Put your money into your audio gear. Make sure that's super solid and you have a lot of redundancies in place before you begin spending your money on fancy, fun, pretty stuff like Super 8. Or maybe you've been filming weddings now for a year or two and you've basically bought all of the equipment that you need. So now you're starting to think about other fun, cool things you could get like a Super 8 camera. In that situation, whether or not you buy a Super 8 or not is really gonna come down to how much you're charging. Because if you're in your first or second year of business and you're only charging $1,000 to $2,000 for a wedding film, I don't want to see you start including Super 8 as a cheap add-on. Whenever you get into Super 8, you're going to realize that the cost of the camera, plus film, plus processing, plus shipping, is not exactly cheap. So I don't wanna see you digging yourself into debt because your couples aren't willing to pay enough to make an add-on like this worth it. Don't think you can add it on as a $100 upsell and make a profit. In that situation, instead of investing in Super 8, I would work on increasing your pricing overall for your wedding films and getting up to $3,000-ish or more. So that way, whenever you want to offer Super 8 to your couples as a $500 to $1,000 or more add-on, they'll be far more likely to say yes. Otherwise though, if you've been filming weddings for a while and you're charging the amount you're happy with, I say go for it. Filming with Super 8 is a great purchase that's a lot of fun and I have zero regrets about buying this camera. Now, it's easy for me to say that, right? Just go out and film Super 8 now. Just get started, you'll do great. While that may be emotionally encouraging, from a practical standpoint, I don't feel like that's super helpful and I want to be helpful and I wanna help you grow. So my next video is going to be a deep dive into the practical side of Super 8 filmmaking. I'm going to talk to you about the cameras that I recommend and the specific features you need to look for with any Super 8 camera that you buy. We're going to cover film stocks and what you should use both indoors and outdoors. And then we're going to get into the real nitty gritty of where to send your film to be processed and scanned and where you can get the absolute highest quality footage to use in your videos. It's a lot. I was looking at the script earlier and I'm like, dang, okay, this video is a monster. <laughs> But if you're intrigued at all about getting into Super 8 filmmaking, I think you're going to love it. So please consider subscribing if you want to see that video, and I will link to it below whenever it's out. Also link down below, you will find a link to this video's sponsor, Musicbed. If you film weddings like me, I'm sure you need to license music for your films. And one of my favorite places to license music is Musicbed. I've been using Musicbed basically since I started filming weddings, and in my opinion, they have some of the best music from real bands with real emotion. If you want examples, I'm excited to tell you that you've already heard some, because every single song that I've used in this behind the scenes video is licensed from Musicbed. With over 700 indie artists and composers offering record label quality music that covers a huge range of styles and genres, you're basically guaranteed to find something that matches the vibe that you want in your film. They've got artists like The Walters, whose song is currently trending on TikTok. But I so. Prince of Spain with a softer romantic vibe. and Kaylee Rutledge offering chill indie pop. There's just so much good music that isn't hard to find because their search tool has so many advanced features and they update their curated playlists all the time. So it's really easy to find new songs that not everyone has used yet. Plus, when you sign up for a Musicbed subscription, you get unlimited downloads of high quality songs to use in your films. Oh and they created a system called Sync ID, which automatically removes YouTube copyright claims for any music that you license through them using your subscription. All these songs that I've been playing in this video, no copyright claims. You and your couples won't have to deal with music copyright issues on YouTube, and that's amazing. Sound cool? Okay. Use the link down in the description below to sign up and use the coupon code MATTMUSICBED. All one word, all caps, very difficult to misspell, and you will get your first month of an annual wedding subscription for free. That's 12 months for the price of 11 to license unlimited music. 
So, special thanks to Musicbed. With that, thank you so much for watching. And if you happen to be a wedding filmmaker, this is a video about using a Super 8 camera to film weddings after all, you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings, right? To help you out with that, I've created a free guide that's gonna walk you through some practical steps you can take right now in your business to book more couples and film more weddings. It's super short and it's absolutely free. You can download it, the link down in the video description. Also, while you're down there, leave me a comment, let me know. You gonna get in a Super 8? You thinking about it? You intrigued? It's pretty fun, I gotta tell you. All right, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.